Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a review of the 2018 NHL Draft. I feel like you have to wait at least three years. It's probably better to do four for a draft, but because I found the Hockey News Magazine where they predicted uh, who was going to get drafted in the 2018 draft, we can go and base it off of what's right and what wasn't. Obviously, mm -hmm. mock drafts are the hardest thing to do, so I wouldn't have got mm -hmm. it any more right <clears throat> than this guy did, but this is just a fun way to do the video. So we'll go two picks at a time. With number 31, they projected Ryan Merkley. It actually turned out to be Alexander Alexiev. So position was correct, which is not even an easy thing to get in mock drafts. Um, just not the obviously a player. But Alexiev is somebody that coming into this draft was limited in games due to an injury. But in the WHL... He's absolutely kicked butt. He actually has produced points 37 and 43 in his last season there. 21 points in his first in the NHL, or AHL, excuse me. Uh, 16 points in his first in the KHL when he uh, went back over there to play some hockey in last season. And then when he came back to the AHL, he had 9 points in 12 games, 4 points in 19 games. Uh, he's a very smart, nine, the 19 games and 4 points is this year. He's a very smart two-way defenseman that's very intuitive. Uh, with the puck out of Russia, obviously some of the guys that come out of Russia um, tend to sometimes be more push-the-pace offensive guys, where Alexiev is not just one of those guys. He's a guy that's smart with the puck and pass the puck well and is a very good skater. He's just a guy you got to be a little patient with um, to let him continue to develop. He's 22 years old now, was drafted in the first round in 2018. I could see this year with the way he was developing, especially he went back to a men's league in the KHL, got to play there, played well in over a 50-game sample size. So I feel like this year is probably the call-up year potentially for him for a cup of coffee, but if not, it sure as heck should be next year. Um, Matthias Samuelson is who they have projected at number 30. What, abs or what actually excuse me, happened at number 30 was Joey great name, Joey Valino uh, from Drummondville uh, going to the Detroit Red Wing, uh, where coming into this draft, uh, Valino was the first player in the QMJHL granted exceptional status to play as a 15-year-old, where he still had 31 points in 31 games, um, or no, he had 31 points in 31 games in his third season with St. John before being traded to Drummondville on December 19th of the year coming into the draft, where then he had 48 points in 33 regular season games with Drummondville and 11 points, 5 goals, 6 assists, and 10 playoff games. Um, he also won about 40%, or excuse me, 50% of his face uh, 40 would not be good, 50% is very good. But Joey Valeno, stats-wise this far, has already obviously played a couple games, a cup of coffee in the NHL, in terms of game total, he's in 13 games this year, three goals, one assist, four points, playing a pretty good overall game. He played very good when he went back over to Sweden last season uh, in a 46-game sample size, so he got to go to a men's league. So interesting enough, uh, both of the two guys we talked about today in Alexander Alexiev and Joey Valino in their off season, well, the season we were waiting for hockey to come back, they both got to go to a men's league overseas, and it seems to have really helped them progress and helped them mature their game a little bit quicker than maybe that would have happened. I'm not sure how much quicker because both of these guys are very intuitive players, but definitely a little bit quicker where Bellino went in the AHL three points in four games in his first season, 23 points, 11 goals, 12 assists in 54 games. So he's been a good player, a good guy that's developing. When you pick a guy at the 30th overall pick, you can get a great third line player. That's a very nice thing to have that then can move up from there. That's a very nice thing to have where Alexiev, is then going to start as probably a great third-line defenseman. And then if you can move up from there, from the 31st pick, that's a very nice thing to have. And I think both of these guys have a very good chance to keep progressing, uh, to continue to move up. Alexiev's 22. Joey Valeno's only 21. They're not even close to the prime years yet. So I think these guys still have a lot of time to nurture and grow. But this has been the first video on the review of the 2018 NHL draft as we went over Joey Valeno and Alexander Alexiev where they had the position right for one in the mock draft in the Hockey News, not the position right for the other, where they projected Samuelson 
it ended up being Joey Valino. Peace out, everybody. If you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below. For the end of December, or for my birthday, Christmas Day, my subscriber goal was 180. We're at 173 right now, so not too much to go. And also subscribe over at Steel Flyers. Peace out, everybody.